As nightfall sets in on the edge of Tokyo Bay, we fire up the lights here inside the Zozo Marine Stadium, a venue that's primarily used for baseball. Tonight it plays host to X Games Chiba 2022 and the BMX Street Final. Welcome everyone, I'm Jimmy Coleman sitting here alongside Chris Doyle and well as we look at this field of riders are going to be battling it out in this course to try to earn themselves some X Games medals. We're going to talk about some top spots. Alex Donachi, he, Donachi, he got the street gold in Sydney 2018, only one of two riders to ever beat Garrett Reynolds in street here at the X Games. Donicky is certainly one of the most technical street riders on the planet. Really have to keep an eye on what he's doing. Switch, regular, opposite. Then you've got Chad Curley. He's a two-time street gold medalist. Got one in 2013 in LA and also in 2018 in Minneapolis. Certainly the biggest threat to Mr. Garrett Reynolds in this competition. And then Garrett, I mean, he's been so extremely dominant in this event. 17 X Games medals to his name, 15 in street. He's got two in real street, and he's chasing another record out here tonight, Chris. Yeah, and what can you say about Garrett that hasn't already been said? He's got the most difficult tricks on lock. It's unfair just how consistent he actually is. He is, uh, he's the one to beat. He's the one that everyone has their eye on, and, uh, you know, we're getting a look at some of the other field courage. Adams right there. Awesome to have him out here. And uh, we got Lewis Mills, Alex Donachy. Lewis Mills is a guy that we really have to keep an eye on, a guy that we might not be talking enough about. He could uh, really upset the, that podium for sure. So eight riders in the field out here tonight. It is a jam session out here. They're going to run in the order that you saw on that start list there. Each individual run is 45 seconds long. However, it is the best run that counts. That's hopefully going to have you leaving Chiba with some X Games hardware around your neck. And you've got an expanse of rails, ledges, concrete, different transitional features to work with out here on this course. We're going to start it off with Brock Rayford coming out of Destrehan, Louisiana. Two X Games medals to his name. He's got a 2016 BMX Street Bronze and a silver in 2021 Real BMX, and he gets us started. Watch the power. Watch the pop. Very clean rider. He's had a great couple of years these past few years going for that Nose wheelie on the, the flat bar there. Looked like he wanted the bar spin out. There's that bar spin to ice pick grind down the rail. Clean, consistent run so far for Brock. Again, never easy to be that first guy that goes. That 360 nose bonk on the uh, the origami swan there, Jimmy. Kind of gave himself a bit of a reset right there, kind of looking back. I don't know what he was staring at there when he popped out on the deck. There are a couple of seconds left here in this first run with the foot jam nose pick. Tail whip straight to flat. Now we saw him do on that handrail. He went up the rail to hard way 360 out. He's got one of the best double peg to hard 360s. And when I say hard, that means he's pulling away from the rail. And he's one of the best guys to do that trick. I'd say him and Dan Lacey have the best ones. Check him out. That's opposite double peg up to a nice clean tail whip. Look at him nose bonking on the origami swan. That's what I'm going to call that obstacle tonight. The Check Aura it. Swami. <laughs> <laughs> nice tail whip to flat down the stairs. That was a great run for Brock to start this thing off. We're not going to see scores as we move through this jam session. Jam session, you'll just see rankings. You will see the names move around on the leaderboard. Coming up next, we got Matt Ray out of Lowell, Massachusetts. This appearance here in Chiba will be his fourth X Games appearance. Huge 360 out of that double peg. Matt Ray, is a, he's a little bit underrated, I would say, for this field. Bar spin catch bar 180. He's got a lot of park feel to his uh, street riding. He's got a lot of great balance, as you can see. Good line there. Nice bar spin to ice pick down the rail. When I say ice pick, that means he's on the back peg. 360 bar spin to fakie, opposite bar spin down the stairs, and an opposite tail whip to wind things out. So he too putting together a run. Oh my goodness, it threw the origami swan there, taking that one. Yeah, a 540 through. to wind things down at the end of his run. Now he's past his time. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to know what exactly is going to count after the time had expired, but he definitely got that 540 in. Yeah, once that 45 second time clock has elapsed, that is it. So anything you do after that, they cut you off at 45 seconds. Huge hard way 360 out of that rail. There's that 
360 bar spin to Fakey. Check him out. There's that huge 540. It, it real time speed. It looked like he went to flat, but he got the last bit of transition right there. I think sometimes Matt Ray's scores are determined a lot by some of the park elements that he throws into his street runs. And I think it hurts him a little bit sometimes. If he could maybe put a little bit more emphasis on the ledges, on the rails, as opposed to doing that 360 bar spin to fakey, I, I think it would help him out a lot. Well, this is Courage Adams coming up next. You can see before he started off this run, he was ushering people there on the opposite side of the course to get out of the way. And here is why with that nose manual, nose manual the bar spin out. The best way to describe Courage as riding is all about the balance. Spends a lot of time on one wheel. Oh wow. my gosh, Jimmy. See, manual down that transition into that line. So much balance and control, a lot of flat land influence. There's an opposite toothpick hanger. Little tail up over the wedge right there. Nose wheelie in and out. Oh, oh no! I thought he was gonna hang on right there. And see, he takes a lot of chances when you're when you're playing around on one wheel like that, because you you lose that balance point just a little bit, and it can really hurt your run. So again, it's best run that counts out here. So yes, he did have a fall there towards the end of the run. However, with this 30-minute jam session, you're going to get several attempts at it out here. Now, what you're not seeing here is he did a bar spin to tail tap to manual down the transition to manual across the deck to an ice pick down the rail to bar spin out. Here's where he fell, trying to go 180 out of that rail, out of that nose wheelie. And just, he takes a lot of chances being on one wheel a lot of his run. So just right there at the end of the run. But again, we haven't even hit the five minute mark yet, so still lots of time left here to go. As we bring in 29 year old Devin Smiley for his first attempt. Devin Smiley, so smooth, so fun to watch. Does a lot of balance style tricks, similar to what we saw with Courage. Winding yeah. things out with the opposite ice pick grind. Nice little pole jam to bar spin. Oh, and the crank flip to ice pick. 270 bar. He puts a lot of old school elements into his runs. <laughs> Showing you the sea grab there over the origami swan. A trick made popular by racer Daryl Young, perfected by Isaac McRae. If you want a little bit of history. Devin's a two-time BMX Street medalist. He's got a bronze for Minneapolis 2018 and a silver for Minneapolis 2017. Good first showing. I think there's a few things he wanted to clean up in that run. Coming out of the manual, there's that opposite ice pick grind down the handrail. L loving the behind the back seat grab. Some jumping elements into a street run. But yeah, there's definitely a few things he would like to clean up in that run. Keep some of those manuals up. Oh, and he moves into second place, Jimmy. So Brock Rayford sitting in that top spot. So Devin finds himself in that number two position, followed by Matt Ray as of right now, but we still have four riders left to go here in the run order in this opening round. Taking a look at Lewis Mills. Wow, I saw him do that run in practice a couple times. Bar spin to double paint grind to manual across the flat ground to toothpick hanger out. Truck driver through the origami swan. Now I gotta say, We've seen a lot of guys do the bar spin to ice pick, but he just did a bar spin to double peg grind down the handrail. That's so risky because you have to get those bars around and really aim for that front peg. He's got a great run going here, Jimmy. Looking like he wanted to manual, but he saved it. Got that crooked grind to 180. It's an opposite 180 bar and he comes out the back. So just a couple of seconds left on the clock there. Again, plenty of time left on the jam session clock here. Keep in mind that it is the best run that counts. But as you said, Chris, he was putting one together right there. Yeah, and I love how he started his run with that bar spin to double peg down the rail. Again, it's so risky because you have to aim for that front peg after throwing the bars. We see a lot of bar spin to ice picks. Not as risky as, as what Lewis Mills had to do right there. But we got Alex Donaghy on the course coming out of Scotland. 
super technical rider, makes my job very difficult. Can do things on both sides of the bike, both directions. Crooked grind up to 360 out. Looked opposite, might not be opposite for him. We mentioned that he has a BMX Street Gold Medal from X Games City 2018. He was the first Scottish athlete to medal at an X Games. He's got a bronze medal in street from last year. Wow. That was a lot packed in. He made a, that entire line look way too easy. Crooked grind to 540. Donicky means business. Time for one more couple of seconds here. Is he going to cap off that run? But how about that run out of Alex? Wow, super impressive riding. When you're as technical as he is, it makes it really easy to mess up from time to time. But that was virtually flawless, Jimmy. Check him out. There's that crooked grind, hard way, 360 out. Another crooked grind to manual. I love this link right here. Pedal grind down the rail to 180. That's a good, solid link. And this, the crooked to 540 coming out of the side. The look on his face was just so casual, and he moves in the first place. So we have a new leader here. So Brock Rayford slides to second. So it's Donicky, Rayford, Smiley, your top three. But we still have two more riders to go in the run order here. In this first round, we featured this gentleman at the top of the show. This is Chad Curley out of San Diego, California. Yeah, Chad Curley is always a threat in any street competition. Turned down a huge truck driver. Toothpick hanger, keeping the manual up to tail whip on the wedge. Keeping things rolling here. 180 bars, keeps the backwards going. <laughs> bar spin in there for good measure, goes up the quarter pipe to bar spin. Nifty little combo line there out of Chad, coming up on 10 seconds. I gotta say, this is a little bit mellow for Chad Curley right now. Double peg to manual. He's keeping he that nose manual. really up. No. Oh. Right. Well, I mean, the buzzer, it sounded. I mean, he was into that line. And again, just under 20 minutes to go. Yeah, to be honest, I, I'm used to seeing Chad Curley do uh, to fit a lot more technical tricks into his runs. It seemed like a little bit mellow. Maybe he was holding back a little bit. Bar spin bunny hop on the flat right here, just for good measure. And then he bar spins again. But I know that Chad Curley has a lot more in the tank, a lot more that he can do. This is where he messed up, just goes over the handlebars a little bit, has to bail out of that nose wheelie. So that'll slide him into that number six spot. So again, Alex Donicky sitting in that top spot, followed by Brock Rayford, but here we go. Garrett Reynolds has been extremely dominant in this event. How are you gonna start your run with a double peg up to hard way Oh, he misses the pedals there a little bit, but he did a hard way, 180 tail whip like it was no big deal. It's that bar spin to opposite ice pick grind. Wow. It's just doing what Garrett does, just getting out there and putting down these super tech runs. Just never see this guy feel any sort of, as you can see, you never see him feel any sort of pressure, but gets hung up right there. Yeah, putting the pressure on himself there. I mean, uh, similar to what I said about Chad Curley, it seemed like a little bit mellow for Mr. Garrett Reynolds. Um, I mean, we still have a long way to go, a lot of competition left, but uh, would love to see him clean that up a little bit. This right here, double peg up, hard way, 180 tail up, clean as you like. Just making it look easy. When, usually when he hits his first couple tricks, you know it's about to be on, but very uncharacteristic for Garrett Reynolds to, to uh, mess up that much, and he knows it. Yeah, so he'll look to get it done here in round number two, but at the end of this first round here, it's Alex Donaghy sitting in that top spot. However, still plenty of time left on that jam session clock. We'll have more when we come back to the BMX Street Final.
Welcome back, everyone, to X Games Chiba 2022 here inside the Zozo Marine Stadium. We are smack dab in the middle of the BMX Street Final. It is a 30-minute jam session out here. Eight riders in the field. It is the best run that counts. We've completed one round of the run order, and it's Alex Donicky sitting in that top spot as of right now, followed by Brock Rayford and Devin Smiley. We take you back up to the top of the order. Bring back in Brock Rayford. Starting his runoff, similar to how he did in the first run with that opposite double peg up to huge tail whip. He's got such a, a dirt jumping style tail whip when he tail whips out of a rail. He's muscling that one down the stairs to flat right there. He does own a bronze medal in this event. He got a bronze back in 2016 when the X Games were in Austin, Texas. He's got a uh, silver in real BMX from last season. Yeah, Brock's been good for so long. He's really come alive the last few years. Look at that huge, just powered that thing around. Came out of the rail, hardware 360 into that wedge on the right-hand side. I'd love to get another view of that. Hard to see from that angle in which we were at, but man, that was big right there. That's a good line. That was a solid run from Mr. Brock Rayford. That's two really solid runs for him out here. And as you mentioned earlier, I mean, it's tough to start things off kind of set in the bar, but he's looking solid here tonight. And he, take, he overtakes Alex Donicky for that top spot. So how about the night Brock Rayford's having right now? Yeah, I'm not surprised with that run. I mean, that was clean. He had all the, the, the opposite, the regular, the technical, the big. Like, that was a full pull right there from Mr. Brock Rayford. Bring back in Matt Ray here. Again, it's a 30-minute jam session clock here. The individual runs are 45 seconds in length. Poor got a flare on that tiny, tiny little transition. I know, it, and it's it's super impressive, but I got to remind you, Jimmy, this is a street contest. Sometimes these park elements don't really matter much. It's good for the crowd. The crowd really gets into it. But sometimes I think Matt needs to focus a little bit more on the, the street elements only. So we're just under 16 minutes on the jam session clock here. About 15 seconds left here on that second run. Love the suicide no-hander down the stairs. Opposite tail up on the wedge. There's that 540 again through the origami swan. That race so consistent. Nice little line through that area of the course. Still going. Buzzer sounded. He's like, hey, I'm going to throw a couple more things in there. Recently became a father. Check him out, huge. Double peg up, nice looking turn down. There's that flare. I guess if you're gonna turn around, you might as well do a flare, right? There's that 540 again, coming through the origami swan. Yeah, they had a daughter, Alana Rose Ray, born in uh, August of last year. So, we're at the halfway point. Courage Adams was off to a solid start and then had a little slide out there towards the end of the run. He takes a lot of chances with doing some of these nose wheelies and these manual lines. Also showing you that huge double peg up. Big 360 fighting this manual. To bar spin to ice pick down the rail, just hanging on for dear life. How about that combo line? Just nose wheelie to bar, and over again on that same side of the course. If he can clean this run up, if he can pull all these tricks, all these long lines in which he's in a nose wheelie or, or in which he's in a manual, he could really be a threat for that top three. But this is a lot of the, the chance that that courage takes. Nice manual to 360. We'll have to see what happens with the time clock here because the way this has unfolded thus far, it looks like they might only get three runs here, but uh, time will tell as we move forward. Big double peg up. Huge hard way, 360 almost goes off the course there. There's him fighting for that manual. Bar spin to ice pick grind down the rail. <laughs> it might come down to one more run here. We'll have to wait and see. So Courage Adams will park it over there in the deck and we will bring back in 
Devin Smiley currently sitting in that number five position. There's that double peg up to Manuel. By the way, Matt Ray jumped up to that number three spot. Look at this balance, lots of control. It was a long time on that back wheel. Peg bonk up, over to toothpick grind. Crank flip to ice pick grind. Got a good run going here, Jimmy. Love the downside double peg on that quarter. Look at that, 180 through with the seat grab. Oh, just steezing. Pedal grind up, 180 over double peg opposite. Got time to slip one more in here before that buzzer. Just bonking that back peg, bringing it back around for the 360, staying in the fakie. That's a good run, Jimmy. Wow, lots of balance, lots of control from Mr. Devin Smiley. Had some cool little jumping elements in there. This is where he went up double peg to Manuel, Manuel on the quarter, then this over double peg on his opposite side. Just so much creativity. Look at Oh, and he takes over the top spot. Devin Smiley here in round number two finds himself at the top of the leaderboard. So now it's Devin, Brock Rayford slides to second, and Alex Donicky in that number three position as we are just under 12 minutes to go. And here comes Lewis Mills, who now finds himself in that number five spot. Starting off his run in a similar way to how he did before. I can't express how crazy it is to throw those bars into a double peg grind down the handrail. Got to get those handlebars around and lock into that front peg. Otherwise, you go OTB and you usually dive to the flat bottom. These guys love the pegs up to hard way, 360. It's a staple of a lot of these guys. Crooked grind to bar spin to manual to crooked grind. Whitey oh, out. Wow. Solid run right now from Mr. Lewis Mills. That's a full pull right there. His so where do you think this is going to slide him over all in the sword? He was fifth free run. I think it's going to move him up. I don't know if he's going to move up into one or two, maybe, maybe third. I don't know. I'm not a judge, thankfully. But I mean, we have a bit of a barn burner going right now because everyone's laying down their runs now. See that huge double peg up, big 360 out. There's the crooked grind to bar spin to manual. And then another crooked grind going crooks in the other way. And oh, it's enough to take the top spot, so the lead changes again. Lewis Mills moves to the top of the leaderboard. So Alex Donaghy now finds himself out of podium contention for now. But it's Mills, Smiley, and Rayford, your one, two, three. And we're moving up on 10 minutes, but uh, 10 minutes left to go. But here we go. Alex is going to get a chance to answer back here. I am so thankful not to be a judge <laughs> at one of these events. <laughs> There's so much going on right now. And oh, no. Because it makes it difficult when everyone's laying down solid runs. They're all looking a little bit different. They're all unique. They're all technical. It's like. Who do you put in what place and why? So, uh, yeah, I'd much rather be here with you, Jimmy, than up in that judging booth for well, sure. You know, and going back to the clock situation here, it looks like it's going to be a, a three run final because we still have Chad Curley and Garrett Reynolds left to go. There's under 10 minutes left. So it looks like we'll get three runs. And when I talk about judging, we have Mr. Brian Kaczynski and Van Homan up in that judging tower judging this street competition. Two of the most legendary street riders in the sport of BMX. Indeed, so this contest is in capable hands. So coming down to nine minutes left to go. So Alex, I have to look at that next round. We got Chad Hurley. He knows what it's like to be in a pressure cooker situation. The bar spin, the ice pick grind, keeping the manual up, going Smith to nose. Probably wanted the bars out. We still got a decent run going here. There's that crooked grind to bar spin. 90 tail up coming in fakey. I'd say this run is quite a bit better than his first run was. That fakey bar spin on the quarter pipe again. 
Yeah, it looks like he's a little bit lost right now. Just trying to find a line, get some tricks down. There was that manual to crook it to 180. Yeah, it seemed to kind of simmer down there in the last 15 seconds or so as we are creeping up on eight minutes. Checking out Smith to nose. If I know Chad Curley, I know that he probably wanted a bar spin out of that nose wheelie. Here's that 90 tail whip coming in fakey. Pretty much all these guys running a free coaster now, so they don't have to backpedal as much. There's that manual to crooked grind, 180 out. So Evans in sixth pre-run, and that is where he is going to stay. Get it, Garrett. Well, here we go. Garrett Reynolds has just seen a lot of guys do a lot of great runs. So what's he got for us? Hard way, 180 tail whip. He's been in these situations before, and he always delivers. I mean, in 15 X Games BMX Street starts, he has never missed the podium. He's got 12 gold, two silver, and a bronze. He's on fire right now, Jimmy. We watched him do this in Austin a few years ago where he had to stomp a run at the last second, and he did just that. Not quite there yet, but check him out. Toothpick hanger up. Over pedal grind, or if you want to call it a crank arm grind, you can call it that too. Whatever you like. Double peg, bar spin. There's that bar spin, the double peg. Oh, and he keeps it going. Now that was a solid run for, for Mr. Garrett Reynolds, but will it be enough to get him up into that top three position? I don't like to speculate. I don't like to make guesses. I just got to wait and see from the judges. So again, it's Lewis Mills, Devin Smiley, and Brock Rayford in those top spots for now as we take a look at some replays here from Garrett's second run. He makes that look way too easy. The hard way 180 tail. That's an opposite tail up to flat down those stairs. Check him out. Bar spins a double peg. Looks like he wanted a little bit more out of that. A lot of improv <laughs> improvising. See, spooked the camera girl over there. She'd have jumped out of the way. So he'll jump up into the top three. He's not going to take the top spot. However, he's in that silver medal position for now. And with a little bit of time left on the clock, we'll go back up to the top of the order. And that means everybody's going to get one more round of runs. When the time clock runs out, we do finish out the run order. So everyone gets the same amount of runs. So he's put in the work for now to get himself in the top three. Now what does he do to try to get back into that top spot? So we've got a bit of a heater brewing out here. However, it is far from over. We will have the third and final run when we come back to BMX Street Final here at X Games Chiba.
Welcome back everyone to X Games Chiba 2022 here inside the Zozo Marine Stadium. We are down to the third and final round here in the BMX Street Final. In that second round, we've seen the lead change quite a few times. Let's talk about some of the highlights and the standouts thus far, Chris Doyle. Yeah, current leader right now, Mr. Lewis Mills coming out of Australia, showing you that truck driver through the origami swan. He was just clean and consistent, had the difficult tricks, was linking things back to back to back. Really fun to watch Lewis Mills do his thing right now. He rides for Fiend, which belongs to Garrett Reynolds. And if you haven't noticed, Garrett Reynolds is wearing a Lewis Mills t-shirt right now. <laughs> so, uh, so a little bit of irony there. But uh, yeah, some clean riding from Mr. Lewis Mills. Also an accomplished artist. You should see some of his paintings. He's very, very talented. And uh, he's really uh, used this course as his canvas I, I tonight, if you say, will. He is, he's, Painted quite a picture for the judges out here tonight thus far, but here we go. Brock Rayford starts us off in what's going to be the third and final round here. Again, the runs are 45 seconds in length. It is your best run that counts. He was in the top three, now finds himself in that number four position. Yeah, it's hard to believe, even with that little step off right there, that could cost him a podium spot. Uh, I think he would, he has to mix it up a little bit. He's kind of sticking to the script, the same run that we've seen him do a couple times. Maybe he's got a few tricks up his sleeve right here. Got about 10 seconds left. Oh, <laughs> just had to step out of that 180 downside tail up out of the rail. So yeah, he needed a few more difficult elements in that run to advance up into that top three position. You know what though, his first two runs were very, very solid. Like I said, he was in podium contention there for a while, so he will stay in that number four position for now. We take another look at Matt Ray. His best finish was a silver from X Games Minneapolis in 2019, our final year up there in the Twin Cities. Check him out, bar spin, catch bar spin, 180 out of the rail, showing you that flare once again. Bar spin to ice pick grind. He's so casual. Bar spin, catch bar spin, 360 to fakey. Just has to dab a foot right there, but keeps it going. He just makes things look so easy. Suicide no-hander through the origami swan. There's that opposite tail up. Brian Foster used to call it Joey Garcia syndrome, when you would make things look too easy that the judges wouldn't give you the scores that you deserved. That might be the case for Matt Ray, but I don't think that's his finest showing tonight. I think he had a few more runs that were a little bit better than that one. So he might have to settle down in that uh, bottom three spot. There's that 180 bar spin, catch bar spin up, out of the double peg grind. Love the 540 through the swan. So he's gonna stick in that number six position again. Once the time runs down on the jam session clock, we will finish out the run out here. Courage Adams has been knocking on the door in his first two runs, and twice now it's been that same area of the course with like the last 15 seconds in his run. Can he put it together in this third round? Gosh, I hope so, Jimmy, because he's, like I said, he takes a lot of chances being on one wheel a lot of the time. Check him out here, there's that bar spin to manual to manual. Bar spin to ice pick grind down. He's looking good so far, just gotta breathe. He's got that nose really going. Is he gonna bar spin into the quarter? Yes, he is! Suicide no-hander through the origami swan. He's just gotta hang on through this last bit here. There's that bar spin to manual, keeping it going. Nice 360 out of the manual. He's got a great run, just needs to hold it together. He messed up that nose wheelie, but I don't know if that's gonna hurt him too much in the grand scheme of things. The horn has sounded, but he started this link before the horn. Where's it gonna, where's it gonna land on here? 
Just not able to keep it on the pedals at the end there, but. Well, the crowd. It done when it counted. Yeah, the crowd appreciates it. We appreciate it. Always so fun to watch. Taking a lot of chances with that nose wheelie. Spent so much time on one wheel. Just so much balance and control. It's, uh, it's unfair. We're coming up on two minutes left to go here. Again, Lewis Mills, Garrett Reynolds, Devin Smiley, your top three. As of now. Speaking of which, Devin Smiley looking at a potential bronze medal right now is due up next. Out of Suwannee, Georgia. Yeah, Devin, the king of casual. Just, again, similar to what we saw with Matt Ray, just makes things look so easy. Look at this line right here. Over ice pick grind out of that manual. Stepping it up a little bit. I like to see the guys that keep improving on their runs. It's a similar line to what we've seen, but he's mixing it up with a few different tricks here and there. What's he going to do on this little jump through here? We've seen him mix it up quite a bit. There's the 180 seat grab again. Nice swag to bar spin to fakey sliding that tire down. Going over double peg again. So consistent all day long. Bonking that back peg up to 180. 360 bar spin and he hangs on to it. Gosh, for wow. some guys, it's just hard to mess up. And Devin is one of those guys for sure. What a night he has had out here in Chiba. So we saw him do that over ice pick grind out of that manual line that we've seen on the other few runs. So he's, he stepped up that line a little bit. There's that 180 seat grab behind the back. And this to end out his run. Coming out of that fakie, 360 bar spin, landing fakie. Hand slips off a little, but you know what? I don't think it really mattered much. And it slides him up into that second place position behind Lewis Mills now. So he bumps Garrett Reynolds down into bronze. And that means we have four riders left to go. This is your current leader, Lewis Mills. Well, Lewis has chosen a different approach this time around. Opposite tooth hanger to bar spin. Opposite 270 bar spin. Truck driver through the origami swan. It seems like a little bit safer of a route right now, if I'm being honest. Pegs up to 180 bar out. Looks like he's just gonna rely on those First two hits to the course, but man, he's still putting it together right now. Clean, consistent. Smiling after that tire grab right there. Sitting in first place. Well, you've got Alex Donicky and Chad Curley coming up next, and both of those guys are on the outside of the podium looking in as of right now. Yeah, check him out here. Pegs up, 180 bar out. Again, I think this was a little bit mellow compared to the things he's done before that we've seen this evening, but uh, impressive showing for Mr. Lewis Mills. Can he hang on to that top spot as we bring back in Alex Donicky for his final attempt? Yeah, again, Alex makes my job so difficult. Regular is opposite, opposite is regular. It just makes everything look so easy and effortless. And some of the most technical riding that we're gonna see all evening. There's that crooked grind, going double peg, not getting what he wanted. You can just kind of tell by his body language a little bit, a little bit deflated on that. There's that crank arm grind to 180. Moving a little bit slow here, Jimmy. Gonna do with this last 10 seconds. Oh, has to step off there, so that is not gonna be enough. And he was in the mix there for a while and then slides down to that number five spot. So that means Chad Curley, the last guy that can shake up our top three, and then it all comes down to the Garrett Reynolds show to take us out of this competition. Chad Curley's on course. 
Just saw a nice nose to bar down that little little ledge that we haven't seen many guys use yet. 540 to flat from, from <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad Curley. There's that tail up over the wedge. Looking pretty good so far. 180 tail whip through the origami swan. It's like he saved it all for this last run here. Double peg, 180 bar spin in. He's got 20 seconds left. He's looking pretty good. He's been solid for this entire run so far. Double peg to manual. Go for that nose wheelie. Can he keep it up? Yes, he can. Manual to that crooked grind to 180. This is the best he's looked all night. That was an impressive run for Mr. Chad Curley right there. So he's down at the bottom of the pack in that number eight spot. That should move him up. Where it's going to move him up to, I'm not really sure. Nice looking truck driver out of the ledge. Popping that tail up. On the wedge there, keeping the man fighting for this nose wheelie. So he's only going to move up two spots into six. So with one rider left to go, Lewis Mills, we know he's getting a medal. We know Devin Smiley is getting a medal because our last rider, Garrett Reynolds, is in that bronze medal position. So our podium is assured. The question is, where do they finish? And with that fall right there, that is going to seal it right there. That seals the deal. Garrett's going over to congratulate Lewis Mills on his first X Games gold medal. Wow. So how about that performance by Lewis Mills out here tonight and Devin Smiley taking the silver. Garrett Reynolds taking home a bronze. Yeah, impressive riding pretty much all weekend from Lewis Mills. He was the most practiced guy on the course. It, it, he really took the practice session seriously. He got his lines down. He has his tricks dialed. Congratulations. Lewis, your first X Games gold medal. How big is this one for you? Um, this is surprising. It doesn't feel real. I don't know. Well, it's real, man. I mean, your last medal as an X Games rookie in your home country, now you're here. I mean, that the level of riding is just unbelievable. So many lead changes. What did it take to come out on top out there? Um, I just think I just had to stick to my run and just land it. And that's pretty much it. I was just worried about myself, and that was it. So, yeah. Somehow it worked out, it's pretty crazy. What do you got to say about the rest of these guys throwing down out there? They're the best, all of my friends, and yeah, they're talented bike riders, so it's awesome. Well, congratulations once again, ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Mills. Yes! I mean, that reaction right there says it all, Chris Doyle. Yeah, so excited for Lewis Mills. I mean, he is, uh, you can tell he's a little bit surprised using some industrial language there, but, uh, he is excited about tonight. Well, it was a very technical final here in BMX Street. Garrett Reynolds keeps the streak alive and adds yet another medal here in Street with the bronze. Devin Smiley takes home a silver, his second silver medal in this event. But it's Lewis Mills who got a silver in 2018 in Sydney. He now trades up and walks out of here with X Games Street Gold.